Hey Rat Kids, today we're gonna make banana split dessert bites. You're gonna need two or three ripe bananas. You're gonna need a jar of cherries. I got the ones with the stems on them. You can use Cool Whip or whipped cream. I think whipped cream will be easier to put the topping on, so I got the whipped cream instead. You're gonna need some kind of sprinkles of your choice and the chocolate discs that you mount in the microwave. Um, they didn't have any chocolate ones. I got the vanilla. Didn't melt as well as any of the chocolate ones I've ever gotten. So we'll probably have to kind of improvise and scoop some on, but we'll try our best and uh, go from there. I also am just cutting on paper plates so I can make cleanup easier. I'm going to um, use some wax paper on a paper plate to put the banana bites on so that they don't stick. If you don't have wax paper, I'm sure, that's my dog in the back. I'm sure that um, the paper plate will be fine. So you're going to start by cutting your banana. Probably you'll get about four pieces. I'm gonna move it down so maybe you can see a little bit better. You're gonna get about four pieces of banana if you do about two to three inches. So you're gonna basically cut your banana in fourths or thirds depending on how big you want your bites. And then I'm just going to put them over on my other plate. Okay. So, get my hands off. I chopped some up before we started. Um, so now that you have them all chopped up, you're going to put them in the chocolate. Let me move you back up. So like I said, the chocolate that I have didn't melt as well as I thought it would, but you want it to be smooth, melted all the way. It gives you directions right on the side of the container. Um, but you, like I said, you might have to kind of scoop it otherwise you might lose your banana in the chocolate but it says to put it in there about halfway up so honestly I think it's easier just to scoop the way that this consistency is and kind of just put it on around the banana because I don't think that the banana will survive if I dip it in once you have the chocolate on there you can kind of see it I'm just going to dip it into my sprinkles but it looks like that. And I'm gonna set it on the paper plate over here. I don't know if you can see it. And then I'm just gonna continue to do that until I have my bananas all set. I'm done, so I'll do a couple more with you so that they can set with the sprinkles on it. If you wanna go ahead and try to put your banana in there, you can. I'm just afraid I'll lose it. But it says to put the chocolate about halfway up is what the recipe is saying. And dump it. And then set it on the paper plate. Let's see what happens if I put that in there. I'll try it once. Yeah, it's not terrible. I don't know if there's enough on there when you do it that way to be able to get your sprinkles to stick though. So I kind of like my way of spooning it in. So I know there's chocolate on there and the sprinkles will stick. Now my dog decides to eat. The food's been sitting out for over an hour. Sorry about the background noise. Yeah. 
So if you can find the chocolate discs, you'll probably be better off. I always have much better luck with those. Okay, so I have four of my bananas on my plate. I'm going to now put the toppings on. So I'm gonna put the um, whipped cream and then the cherry on the top. And then your dessert is done. So it's a quick little dessert. Oh my gosh, my dog. <laughs> Sorry. Gotta love it. Cooking from home. All right, let me put this on here so you can see. Flip the camera around. All right. So I'm just going to put the whipped cream like this on the top of each of these. that one and then you're going to just take the cherries and set it right on top and get them out of there there we go And there you have your banana split bites. Hopefully you enjoy them.